and yeah of course i can put so you can see here live variance also so right now is one second okay so which means after one second it's all gonna die so you play it one second it's all gonna die because life expectancy is one second okay if you keep it two it's gonna be two seconds like it is now more than one second okay and yes 48 the two second so if you come here after this it will everything will be dying okay so you can see die 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 right so that is life expectancy uh it's going on the second don't think this is a frame this is a second two second and life variance just like i said it's going to plus or minus it so if i keep it one okay one means 24 frame and if i keep it 0.5 as a variance so this gonna be plus or minus so the life expectancy will be 1 minus 0.5 and 1 plus 0.5 yeah so some particle will be dying some particle will be dying early some particle will be late it's like 1.5 second okay so you'll be like are you sure yes i am sure i can show you so if you middle mouse click it you can see age age has a there's a new attribute age and life so i want to show you what is age and life okay so at first i'll i have a visual representation of age and life and then i'll then i will go to this spreadsheet right so age means this is age and this is life i know you didn't understand so age means how old are you now okay and life means how long you're gonna live so we in in our case so life will be like i said 0.5 and 1.5 okay so i make it easy so life will be one and age will what well, life will be one so it's like you can see this as it goes 24 life of all we can we can say that life of all this point will be one second but when, then what is age so age means so i'll go to the geometry spreadsheet uh so you can see it's a different geometry spreadsheet when you come to the uh dynamics okay so that's because um i have an explanation for that type because in the pop source source birth attribute and in here you can see stream and stream means the name it's like uh right now the stream name is dollar os so so dollar os means whatever you put the name here that's going to be the um so this is a h script houdini script language uh, dollar os so as an inbuilt it says that whatever you name here that's going to be the stream name okay and the binding you can see geometry is geometry so binding is like uh, saving the data so whatever the data is here where do you want to save or where do you want that to keep it so that's it says like go to the geometry level it's like so that's what in the geometry spreadsheet if you go to the pop object and it has a geometry so you can see all of this so if you change the name boom it's not there okay because you have a you kept a name called you know geomet so that's where it's all going to be saved right so i'll keep it as a default because why do we need to mess with this uh binding you know the datas we don't need to we don't need to destroy the data flow okay so in the geometry you can see all the point attributes are here right now okay so there are everything but like even velocity how it is applied you can see here the data each how each point has what's the data coming in the point six okay so it's like velocity is this much and uh, point id and etc 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 okay so for now we only need age and life okay so you see here as you give the life here in the pop source uh so you keep it two then you can see in the life itself it's going to 
right and if you keep it point uh, keep it one and if pink open five then you can see there's a variation between 0 0.5 and 1.5 0 0.5 1.5 okay so when i click here what i can see is like is the order changes like uh now right now it's low to high and high to low so that i don't have to go down and see okay i can just click here and see low and high right so that's the variance and now you can now i'll show you so i'll put it zero itself so that it's easy to understand what's happening okay so life is one and in the first frame so i keep uh, so it's a point this is the point number so i if i have an order then it's easy so everything have every point has so there are 90 points and 90 point has one life one second life and age is 003 okay so you can see here and stop so i i stopped at 17 all right 17th frame so you see here zero point number has a life like right now it is born or like for example you can say if this is um your you know dead line or like this is when you're gonna die and this is what you are right now okay at the 17th frame but when you go 90 24 so right now it's going to be it's gonna die it's like yeah, yeah i'm gonna die 0 0.9 and 1 i'm gonna die so now boom now boom it's all gone so you will be like you'll be like no it's not gone it's still there um uh, in the last class in the donut i have explained what his point number is and how point number works so every time the point number will refresh it's like right now it has too many so it's hard for me to show instead of this i'll keep a spear okay and i'll plug that instead of the eyes uh, so that i can explain so in the emission type right now it's all point and you can't see anything that's because it's a primitive and it has only one point okay and you can see that one point right in the middle you see yeah so if i play you can see okay it's generating right so all point so in the geometry level there's only one point and uh, one point is generating one point in every frame right so so now it's easy to easy for me to explain what is id and point number is right so now I put point number so if i go to 13 23 so you can see there is like 23 uh, points has been born right 23 points has been born uh, but this point number these are the point number okay and the next very next it's 23 and very next 23 23 23 23 23 the 23 is still 23 23 is not going uh, you know 24 25 26 27 uh, that's because we have a life expectancy of one so every 24th frame uh, each point is dying so that's why we can see that after 24 it has to show me the 25th and 27th okay so that's don't worry every data has been kept it's like if you go to the geometry there is this id so id will be you see 27 28 you can have all the ids like right now you can if you go to yeah 166 you can tell that 165 points has generated or something okay it's like if you middle mouse click it will be always 24 frame uh, that's because it's going to show you what's what's in here Okay, so there's only 24 points that's why it just show you 24 but we know that there are many things that died and stuff so all those are um, you know listed in id if usa have 1 million people and in the next year uh, there are new point half a million newborn uh, kids and a half a million dead happen so what's the population so population will be 1 million itself isn't it 0.5 has born uh, but 0.5 0.5 dead also happens so population will be 1 million isn't it the united states id the id card will be 2 million isn't it 
because every individual has a ID number. Okay, so that's what ID and point number, the difference between your, all you can think of a country's population. So that's with age and ID. So now you have a thorough understanding of what what is point number, age, ID and life, right? So point number is nothing but it's like a population. It's like how many are right, right now. Okay, so 23 after 24, it is dying because the life expectancy is one second right so but id is keeping the track of it so you know like um yeah zero is dead zero is dead and one is coming a new new is new id is being generated but point number stays the same so it's see it's nine and life is only one okay so if you keep it two it's gonna go you know 1.9 so you can see here now it's gonna go 1.9 age and life and id and pt now you, since you have the attribute separated it's like you can control based on the you know you can color color based on the age or life anything so now let's talk about the source so right now it is all point so all point is basically whatever point number it is coming from here so right now it is one so it is only taking one so but now okay so now you can go to the scatter on the surface so scatter on the surface means it just it is just like um it's just like this one this one the scatter node scatter node so what does scatter node do it's going to scatter on the surface isn't it this is a surface and it's going to scatter points isn't it so that's exactly uh if you if you chose the emission type to scatter on surface that's exactly it's gonna do as it's gonna scatter points on the surface uh it need to be surface first of all that's the only thing you i have to mention it need to be surface okay so it's like if you have a point here if you have a scatter okay so right now right now your source doesn't have a surface only points isn't it see only point no surface so then it won't work because it is looking for a surface but we don't have a surface okay so so we can connect to the surface okay i'll keep it this way surface so now um if you come here you have all these thing on okay so now you can see this is one but the count is zero as i say activation is just like turning on and off so activation is one so it is on but the impulse count is zero so it won't work okay but in here you can see constant activation which is one which is also activation which means on or off uh, and uh, it is on and the constant birth is 500 5000 okay so for now we will keep it we will do it first i'm going to explain this one and then this one so like i said this one is based on frame every frame how many has to be born so i said 100 okay so 100 particles gonna generate every frame okay so it's like if i go to 24 and middle mouse click it so it's going to be 240 uh, so it's going to be it's going to be uh, 24 into 100 okay so it's like every frame 100 is happening so 24 into 100 2400 okay and same here will be same because life expectancy is one so it's going to be same only right so you keep an eye on that uh so every in every frame 100 is born okay that's sim that, as simple as that okay so i'll turn off uh, impulse activation i'll keep one so one in the constant activation so constant activation is this is a second so if you middle mouse click it uh, if you keep your thing then you can see each second so so impulse is frame and constant activation is second so one second 5000 will be born okay so when you keep in the 24 so it will be 5000 almost come on okay so almost so that's what uh impulse and constant activation difference so in impulses for per second uh, per frame and 
uh, constant is per second so it's like every one second 5000 is born right so it's like even here you keep it 5000 will be there uh, that's you know right it's gonna die that's why so if, we, if it is uh, life expectancy is very heavy then you can see a lot of particles coming like you see a lot of it's like 48 should be you know two seconds isn't it one and two two into five thousand so ten thousand see ten thousand right so that's what happens here okay and it's gonna die only uh, when it reached 100 second uh, because uh, and my time time frame is not even 100 frame 100 second so it's cool for me okay, so that is what uh, impulse and constant activation is um, based on frame and based on second okay and uh, the next one uh, I want to go is points so all point will take from the geometry level uh, and it can be surface or points okay so how many ever points so if, if it has a surface with uh, uh, if it has a surface with one point it's going to take that one point and if it has a uh, surface with uh, only points it's going to take the only points okay so that's what all points is and points are it's like you can control from here so that's what point is so it's like if i go to the point and now if i play you see it is taking from the one point but it is it has now the i know this is not grayed out but if you go to the all point it is all grayed out okay so point is like whatever the point is it's like if you have one point and from the one point generate these many points okay so that's what point means uh, it's like if you have here point so if I keep it play you can see every point gonna generate you know only 10 so 10 into 24 will be 240 okay but if you keep that into all points all points so you see here there are thousand right so thousand points thousand points gonna generate every second i mean every frame so if you middle mouse thousand into 24 will be yeah this much okay so that's what happening here so that that's all about all point and all this and geometry if you come here and keep it as a geometry right now if you play you get geometries okay but which is which uh, i hardly seen people using all geometry so even i don't suggest taking all geometry because see uh, we don't need this we can do that in a different way right so that's about all of this so i believe i explained uh, b taking the geometry from sop level and sourcing it what all our first second third geometry is and uh, the emission type all points all points means um, the points which is coming from the geometry and uh, scatter on surface means uh, it's gonna scatter some points on the surface and point means uh, you know you can control the points from here okay and geometry of course is a geometry is being applied uh, to all the points right and then birth so when to born you have so in the birth you know now that when to born you can have two option per second or per frame and how many uh, so that's the count and how long is the life and age age okay and the dynamic so let's get into the dynamic now uh, in the dynamic I showed you how you can generate pop source uh, velocity from the pop source itself and the next one is I want to show you the inbuilt forces okay uh, 